right everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a full review of the Remy K30 Ultra and how it holds up in 2020. So um, I'm going to be doing not only a camera test but I'm also going to be going over the performance, the software, everything that you need to know about this phone. So let's get started. Alright so first of all let's talk about the display and the display is a 120 hertz super fluid AMOLED display. It is super smooth. It's always at 120 hertz even when you're going onto like the side here or going into the control center. It is almost always at 120 hertz. Obviously there's some games that you know maybe don't support that 120 hertz refresh rate but um, most of the time especially in the UI you'll be getting 120 hertz. And so overall the display is super bright and you will definitely not be disappointed with the display at all. Looking in the viewing angles, as you can see, it is really good. And I'm in bright daylight right now. It is pretty bright outside right now. The sun is out. There are absolutely no clouds. And it is the middle of the day. So this is what you're going to be expecting if you're in, you know, a highly lit situation. Talking about the design, you've got an absolutely beautiful design that is, I actually got the white variant of the phone, and as you can see, it just looks absolutely fantastic. you got aluminum sides that uh, scratch a little bit, but it's definitely a very nice and premium design. The back is glass, and um, when you reflect it in the sun occasionally, or if you put it um, in a specific area, it sometimes becomes a little blue, as you can see, which I really like, and it kind of gives more character to the phone. You've got that triple, or actually quad, rear camera setup, and as you can see, that design is just so amazing. I'm obsessing over it. Fingerprints, um, you can definitely tell if you, you know, if you look pretty closely that, you know, you get some fingerprints, um, and it's kind of a fingerprint magnet uh, once you start using it a lot. But if you use a case, then you should be all good. What's also really awesome is that you got dual stereo speakers, which is really rare in a smartphone um, that is mid-range. As you can see, you got dual stereo speakers right here, and that's really impressive um, that they put this into a phone of this price. Okay, so now let's talk about the gaming performance and the performance overall. So you got the Dimensity 1000 Plus, and this is a fairly new chip. So this actually got released in 2020, so it's a very new chip and one of the first phones to have it was the Redmi K30 Ultra. Overall, it's a really solid performer and uh, you really won't be disappointed with the performance at all. Gaming uh, is really great. Lots of titles support sometimes 90 FPS. Some titles obviously don't support the full 120 FPS, but overall it does do a really great job. So you should expect really great performance. Okay, so now let's talk about something that's pretty important, and that is Wide Vine Level 1. That basically means that you can, you know, have um, HD Netflix and stuff like that, and this phone has that. Um, also, the Geekbench scores are really good. They're about as good as like a Snapdragon 855, and uh, also the Antutu scores are pretty good. Um, so yeah, now let's talk about the cameras, and so the cameras, before I actually get into the camera test um, and give my camera thoughts after, um, I just want to say that there is no 4K 60fps recording, so uh, yeah, just keep that in mind while you're uh, watching the camera test. <laughs> This is a 1080p video test on the Redmi K30 Ultra. As you can see, it's completely capped at 1080p. You can't do 1080p 60, you can't do 4K, you can only do 1080p. Overall, I'm actually liking it a decent amount. Um, now, I noticed that the dynamic range is not great, but I gotta say, the colors are really great, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro. As you can see, looking here, the detail is really great. I would say, the yeah, it's actually really similar to the OnePlus 7 Pro's front-facing camera, in my opinion. It looks really 
similar. Actually, dynamic range isn't too bad. Um, it might actually be better than the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is a 1080p rear facing video test on the Redmi K30 Ultra. Um, so this is a 1080p test. It could go to 1080p 60 FPS and uh, 4K 30 FPS. However, there is no 4K 60 FPS and that is partially to blame because of the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset. So looking at the detail, it is very good. Very, very good. Um, in my opinion, it may be better than the OnePlus 7 Pro in one major factor, and that is um, stabilization. The stabilization with 1080p is absolutely fantastic. And also the dynamic range is fairly good. Um, I don't know as good as the OnePlus 7 Pro, but it does look pretty good. Um, and going into close subjects, overall it does look very sharp and detailed. And um, not only that, you could also do an ultra-wide mode. This is the ultra-wide mode at 1080p 30fps. It can only do 1080p 30fps or 4K 30fps. And as you can see, definitely gives a pretty wide effect. The detail, it isn't great. And, um, you know, it's not really the best. Um, in terms of it can't really focus like the OnePlus 7 Pro could on uh, different subjects because uh, there's no autofocus here. You have to do like tap to focus. Um, but overall, it does uh, do a fairly good job in my opinion. Um, and once again, the stabilization is absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, this literally looks like I'm not even using, I'm like using a gimbal or something like that. This is actually really much better than the OnePlus 7 Pro and dynamic range is fairly good. This is a 1080p 60fps video on the Redmi K30 Ultra and as you can see once again the stabilization is absolutely fantastic and this is one of my favorite modes uh, to film video. As you can see there is a very good amount of bokeh effect. Looks pretty good. Um, I would say the autofocus definitely isn't as fast as, you know, the, uh, as the OnePlus 7 Pro, but I would say that it does look just as good, and the stabilization is just amazing. Um, the IMX682 is on here, and honestly, it performs almost like a flagship camera. Now, I'm not saying, I'm saying almost because I don't think it really performs exactly like a flagship camera, but it's definitely extremely close, and, uh, yeah. This is a 4K 30fps video test on the Redmi K30 Ultra, and this just looks absolutely fantastic. Looking at the detail, it's just, there's just a ridiculous amount of detail here. This is probably, I would consider 4K 30fps video, basically so close to flagship it is so close look at that detail up close and as you can see just amazing how it looks the stabilization is very good for 4k 30 fps most phones in this price point doesn't do not look this good now obviously it doesn't have 4k 60 fps but i really don't mind it considering how good the 4k 30 fps video is and the 1080p uh 30 fps video is uh 60 fps video is fairly good and um, i'm just so impressed with this camera already um it's just such an impressive camera for this price point um you know this is a a $380 to, you know, $420 phone. Uh, I found it around there, that kind of price point. And as you could see, I mean, it's definitely worth the price. Um, now, what I do notice a little bit is, um, and I've noticed this when I was, uh, yesterday, when I was kind of taking some videos, um, that occasionally when I'm panning around, there is a little bit of, like, stutter, kind of. But honestly considering I think it helps kind of with stabilization a lot um, okay so let's talk about a few more things so uh, let's talk about the software so this has MIUI version 12 and uh, there's supposed to be the MIUI 12.5 update at some point however we have no idea when that's actually going to be released especially to the Remy K30 Ultra however in terms of the software that we have right now it's really great 
so right now you don't have any lag, which I think I mentioned before, there's no lag in the software at all yet, um, and or at least that I've experienced, and it's overall extremely fluid. Now you probably can tell a difference between something between like a uh, Dimensity 1000 Plus and a Snapdragon 888 phone, this is still fairly fast, and like I said, the Geekbench scores and things like that, they are very good, um, especially for this price, so definitely impressed with the software, um, and there's a lot of customization that you can do. So with the customization, you can change the icons, so I actually have custom icons right here, as you can kind of tell, and um, I've also got a really nice wallpaper, I have different widgets, and um, you can also customize a few things that might be really cool. First, you can change the always on display, so if you go into the always on display settings, you can change the color, so I have this little uh, astronaut right here, and you can change the theme color, you can actually show um, if you want to have battery notifications or steps on it, that's really cool. You also have so many other features, so we have this thing called Game Turbo, and it basically, first of all, boosts up your game, and it makes it kind of look like almost like a console experience, which is really cool. Last thing that I want to show you is the front camera effect, so you can change not only the visual effect but also the sound effect, so let's just try some sound effects right now. I have to turn this up. It's fairly quiet, but you can kind of start to hear it. And then there's also the visual effects. As you can see, you can change the pop-up camera to any color you'd like. It's really cool. Okay, so finally what I want to talk about is basically what is not good about this phone. So there's a couple of things that you may need to watch out for. So first of all, um, is the Google Play Store. Um, I've heard that maybe the Google Play Store isn't on all Xiaomi Redmi K30 Ultra phones. So that could be a concern, um, though I've got it for myself on here, so I guess it's fine for me, but I don't know for other people. Another thing that you're going to have to, that might be a problem for you, is that if you go into some settings or if you go into some MIUI apps, then there's going to be some Chinese writing. For example, if I go into display, go to refresh rate, well actually, in this case, actually they may have changed it, but before there was actually some Chinese writing, and I guess it would say refresh rate, but it was in Chinese. However, here's a great example, actually a pretty terrible example, because this is actually pretty important, because you may be a little bit disappointed by this. If you go into calendar, it's all in Chinese, as you can see right there. One last thing is that you got no wireless charging, so that may be a problem for you. And, um, but in my case, I don't think that's that big of a deal, especially considering this is a mid-range phone. Okay, so now, this is the conclusion. Overall, this is an amazing smartphone, and for the price of around 399 bucks, this is an amazing deal. And, um, you can get it on giztop.com, Trading Shenzhen, and there are many other sites that you can get it from. And even though this is a China phone, it's still highly recommended. And if you really like Xiaomi phones, or if you haven't tried a Xiaomi phone, and if you've been interested in trying a Xiaomi phone, this would be a great option because it's not that expensive, but it's also, you know, not cutting too many corners where you're basically going to be getting the full Xiaomi flagship experience. And so you get to experience Xiaomi's best, one of Xiaomi's best phones, especially for the mid-range price. And um, in my opinion, this is 100% worth it. If you'd like to check it out, go to giztop.com or Trading Sengen, like I said. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.